Hello and welcome to episode number 14 of Saving Sunderland, the homegrown heroes save, where I attempt to turn Sunderland into a top six side using only British and Irish nationality players. Since we were last together, we have had a mixed bag of results. We were together for the Manchester United game where we were completely outclassed and lost 3-0. The next game was a 3-0 victory away at Hull. Two Izzy Brown goals and a Duncan Watmore finish gave us the victory. Then it was a 2-1 victory at home to Watford. Luke Garbutt and Asmir Begovic with the goals. Asmir Begovic was an own goal. Then we played Stoke and got thrashed. This is probably the fairest way of putting it as an assumption. Jason Cummins scored our goal, but we were completely outclassed. They scored a couple of goals in, in five, six minutes in the second half, and we were never able to get back into the game. Luke Garbit had a 4.7 in that game, which is, yeah, a very poor performance. Then came another defeat against Everton. This one, I can't, I can't see how we've lost this game. We scored with Charlie Adam, and then Ross Bartley scored a couple of goals to give Everton the victory, but we've absolutely dominated them in this game. The numbers suggest a fairly even game possession, 66 against 34, and shots on target and that sort of thing are fairly even, but it felt like we were so dominant. And Charlie Adams' goal was a bit of a fluke goal, but it's usually one of these goals that goes against us, so the fact that it's gone for us is a fantastic moment for me. So free kick taken by Joel, Adam has a shot. Joel then decides to push the ball into the back of the net, and we milk it for all it's worth in front of their players and our fans. So. Charlie Adam with that goal. I was also going two by two by two at the moment, so we've now entered the drawing phase against Derby. A one all draw, a late equaliser for them. I'll show you Rodwell's goal. It was a barnstorming finish. An absolute stunning goal from Jack Rodwell. He got the ball 25, 30 yards out and smashed it home. May have had a slight deflection on the way in, but we won't complain, but we did draw that game. And then we had a nil-nil draw against Leicester. The biggest problem we have at the moment is injuries. We have got no Jermaine Defoe. He's going to be out for a couple of months at least. Catamol has been out for a while, just coming back into the side. Lyndon Gooch, Gary Hooper and Killian Kelly are all injured. That's four shadow strikers injured and that's our biggest problem at the moment. We are creating chances, but we're not finishing teams off, and then we're conceding goals, which are, is costing us. It's a frustrating time at the moment. I am very much not looking forward to this game. Arsenal in second can go top if they win. It is going to be an incredibly difficult game, and we are not in form at the moment. Our side for today is Jordan Pickford in goal, back three of Gibson, House and Lescott, who comes in because of injuries to Paddy McNair. Lescott hasn't played for a while, so I'm worried about his match sharpness at only 56%. That's going to be a problem for us. Donald Love on the right, Luke Garbett on the left, with Harry Arter, Charlie Adam as my centre midfielders. Three shadow strikers, Duncan Watmore, Jason Cummins and Izzy Brown. Major problems for us at the moment is that we don't really have a shadow striker in form. Watmore's not a natural in the position. Cummings is our best player in that position, but his average range is 6.58. Unsurprisingly, he's struggling in the Premier League at this precise moment, but he's had a really good season up until this point, so I'm keeping him in the side just in case he does turn it on. Izzy Brown doing okay, but I, I kind of need someone to be starring for us at the moment in that position because our best 11 is good enough to probably get us into the top 10. But our squad overall is probably relegation favourite. So the fact that we're mid-table at the moment is a good position to be in at the moment. But lots of injuries. So I haven't really got... I'm down to the bare bones, as Harry Redknapp would say. And I've got Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City this month. So very much a challenging time for Sunderland at the moment. Let's see how it gets on. So we've got the ball to start off. We are away from home, so our waveform is usually fairly poor anyway. So... I'll get my excuses in earlier. Ozil takes a corner kick, it's not cleared properly, and Gibson just hoofs the ball into the opposition dugouts. Quiet start with free kick, Chamberlain, put to Ozil, and that is 1 0 Arsenal. Measure Ozil with a lovely free kick. 
so the game's lost now, so <laughs> no, I'm not sure, I'm really sure what more I can do from this point on. Our biggest problem is when we concede first. I don't I can't recall many times this season where we've conceded first and gone on to get the victory. Harry Artifix of his traditional booking as they have a free kick. Gets played into Pickford, not free kick, a throw in. Sean Pickford with a goal kick, he'll probably roll it out to someone into Ben Gibson. Donald Love, Adam Cummings, ball at the top to Izzy Brown. Can Izzy Brown get some space? He can't. Back to Luke Garbett. Garbett holds on the ball to Charlie Adam Brown. Garbett posted in. Cummings has equalised. Jason Cummings has put the goal, put the ball into the back of the net, as I should say. Should... Talking is not easy for me at times, <laughs> but Jason Cummings has scored. That is the key thing to take away from that moment. Jason Cummings has scored his ninth goal of the season. We are back in it, but they have a highlight straight away. This will probably mean it's 2-1 to Arsenal. And it is 2-1 to Arsenal. Alexi Sanchez. Well, that was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? We got back into it and immediately Arsenal go 2-1 up. Unmarked. Pickford had no chance. Hmm. We need strengthen in January. Probably going to need a shadow striker. And possibly... Another defender, but we've got we've got decent defenders, but we just haven't got much of a squad as Chamberlain could have made it 3-1, but Pickford has made the save. It feels like this season's going to be the same as last season, so there's not really much in terms of progress. Last season was 11th. We're currently 12th in the table. If we have a decent cup run, then potentially we might do all right. Have a bit more of a better season, but it kind of feels we're not going for, it, for not going places at the moment. As Izzy Brown picks up the ball, to Cummings, Arter, Watmore, Brown, Cummings, saved by Czech. Those are the sort of chances we need to be going in if we're going to get something out of this game today. As we approach half time, and it is half time, fairly even in terms of shots and possession. Normally we're a team that dominates possession, but against a side like Arsenal, it's tough to do because they like to keep the ball as well. Average rating is on the disappointing side at the moment. Looking at the side, Lescott's not playing particularly well, but I've got John O'Shea on the bench, but O'Shea hasn't played much football recently, 58% match sharpness, so it's a danger for putting him back on there, but we haven't really got options. NHB could come on up front, but he's not, he can't play in their shallow striker role. He's a, he's a forward or a left winger. And I'm not playing with either, so let's just start the second half and see how it goes. The key thing is not to concede a third goal. So you can guarantee the first thing we're going to do in this second half is concede that third goal. I'm hoping you're liking the camera being on today. I'm trying that out for the first time to see how it goes as we clear the ball off the line, but it was offside. According to feedback camera, and recording so you can see my face, hello, is is the best way to gain people to watch your videos as it's a corner kick for Sunderland. So I am trying that out, see how it all goes. If you are one of my nine subscribers, thank you very much for getting on board. Much appreciated. Corner kick for Sunderland, headed away. Harry Arter picks up the ball, Donald Love on the edge of the area. Can we fashion a chance? Garbett has the shot and it's a corner kick to Sunderland. Can we turn one of these corners into a clear cut chance and get back into the game? Headed away. Izzy Brown on the ball. Former Chelsea fan. Can he score a goal against Arsenal? It looks like he, I thought he was going to get pickpocketed for the ball there, but he doesn't. And the end of the highlight. They have a free kick. Ozil in. Headed away to Chamberlain. Ozil again to recycle the ball. And it's cleared. Cummings. Can we break? Can we break? Bit of pace up front. What more's with him? That's intercepted. I thought Arsenal couldn't play against these lesser teams in the Premier League. But they're doing all right so far as they go. 3-1 up. Allen. I have no idea who he is. I'm going to assume he's Brazilian, as he doesn't have a first name, but that would appear to be game over. 60 minutes gone. Art has been booked, so I'm going to bring on Jack Rodwell for him. And I'm going to bring on an each of you on the left of the three. He can't really play that role, but I have to see how he goes. Oh, 
all in, tips that onto the bar. Just going to change it tactically to put in each of it up the top and have Cummings and Watmore just behind as a shadow strikers just to see if that does anything as they get a free kick again to Ramsey and the edge of the box. Thankfully we don't give away a penalty. Monreal crosses it in and it's in at the back post. Jack Wilshire makes it 4-1 Sunderland. 4-1 Sunderland, that's wishful thinking. 4-1 to Arsenal. I wish it was 4-1 to Sunderland, but it's not. <sighs> we're always going to struggle. I, I feel like I go into this, we're always going to struggle montage every time we play against a big side, but we are always going to struggle against a big side. Which makes the Chelsea victory all the more pleasing, but we've got 20 minutes left. Three goals is required. We haven't really got an option on the bench. Defensively, we've been a shambles. We can bring Lescott off and bring O'Shea on. O'Shea is actually going to be retiring at the end of the season, as well as Stephen Pienaar. So we're going to have to replace both of those as squad players for next season. But it's all right. We've got Liverpool next, who us, I think, the third in the table. So easy game next. Didn't actually get an end of game highlight. So we lost 4-1, 12th position, 11 points clear of that relegation zone. So there we are folks, that is episode number 14 in the can, disappointing result in the end against Arsenal. Not sure when we'll get together again, possibly the Bournemouth game in early January for the FA Cup. But I've been the FM Novice, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.